This is the Caracal. It's a beast. The new La Sportiva Caracal is a solidly built promise from the brand renowned for their mountain and ski gear. It's been a while since I've reviewed any of their shoes, but I'm glad that I did. From sloppy single track to rugged rocky peaks, the Caracals have the potential to do it all. With a more responsive EVA midsole and thin compressed midsole rock guard, the Caracal is extremely protective and durable. That in combo with a roomier, dense mesh and 3D overlay laden upper, Friction AT 2.0 rubber outsole, a thicker tongue with round laces and protective toe box across the toes, this shoe has a lot going on. The ultimate question becomes, does the Caracal try to do too much in a small package or is it just the right amount of grit to get you through those tough days? Let's find out in today's review. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing a shoe from La Sportiva. It's been a while since I've reviewed a La Sportiva. It is the Caracal, this little mountain monster. Seriously, this has been a, a spicy little number that I've been taking through some pretty rough conditions here in the Pacific Northwest. I have a lot to say about it, but before I do, quick announcement, Tiger Clop Virtual is back. It is our vert-based challenge and it's gonna be happening from April 15th through 17th. You basically log as many feet of vert as you possibly can in a single activity. For every 1,000 feet of vert you do, you earn yourself one physical handcrafted wooden vert coin we send to you, it's all included. It's our virtual partner event to our in-person Tiger Claw, which is already sold out for 2022. Last year, we sent out thousands of vert coins. We also raised $6,000 for a local nonprofit, the Issaquah Alps Trails Club. We would love to have you and have you put your quads to the test. Uh, head on over to runtigerclaw.com slash virtual. The link is also in the description of this video uh, and you can register now. That's it for that. And of course, before I start talking about the La Sportiva Caracal, I have to point out that these shoes were provided for review by La Sportiva. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about the shoes. I'm not financially compensated for anything in this review. All opinions are my own. You are the first to see this video. Let's dive in. As always, I like to talk about the things that I like and dislike about a product today is no different. Starting as always with the things I like about the La Sportiva Caracal. First and foremost, protection. I think in a smaller, more nimble package, La Sportiva manages to cram in a ton of protection in this shoe, both from underfoot and over. So not only are we talking about their friction rubber outsole and that dense EVA midsole and the compressed EVA uh, rock plate, but also the upper itself, this mesh and all of these welded overlays, the material they're using for this welded overlay is super dense. It does flex over time, but right out of the box, you'll notice that this shoe was designed to protect your foot. You know, I think this is something La Sportiva does really well. They just use this combo of materials in all of their products. Uh, you can tell that they're mountaineers. They are mountain athletes, and they design their products to fit the needs of those athletes. So the Caracal ends up using a lot of these elements to their advantage, both in durability and protection across the board. You know, as I mentioned in the intro, I think I used this shoe in a, a wide array of situations, both weather related and then technical trail related. And I think it just held up quite well and it was very protective from all of those elements. Roomy. So this is the word that La Sportiva is using in their marketing. Uh, they consider this to be a roomy shoe and I have to agree with them when comparing it to other La Sportiva shoes. So I'm gonna give them the plus here. Uh, I think this shoe does a good job of providing enough room through the midfoot and forefoot compared to other products in their lineup and other gear that they manufacture, you know, climbing shoes, mountaineering shoes, skimo boots. Uh, they're not known for having a very wide or accommodating upper midfoot or forefoot. I'd say the Caracal is them stepping into that realm. So I wanna commend them uh, coming from a European brand. Obviously the European markets and the American markets are gonna be different in what customers deem roomy. Uh, in this case, I commend them because I think this shoe does a good job of, of moving in that direction. There's an asterisk or a caveat to that, which I'll talk to in a little bit. And finally, grip. This Friction AT 2.0, it's, it's their spelling of the word that sort of drives me crazy, is really good. I think uh, one thing they do quite well is a very dense, grippy outsole that's very durable. It kind of checks all the boxes. Uh, when you're in a market competing against products like Vibram or Continental Rubber, uh, Vibram kind of being the all-star and one of my personal favorites, the Friction does a decent job and I commend them because again, with the multi-leveled lugs, the different angles, uh, these do really well in all sorts of conditions, primarily muddy conditions, because we've had a ton of mud up here, so I've had plenty of opportunity to test them in that. So for a shoe that has a lower profile and isn't designed to be a super soft ground style shoe, it does really well. And the grip 
is good. That being said, it's not all Forbidden West side quests and Wordles in one. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Las Portiva Caracal. Let's get to those. A bit too responsive. So the reason I'm calling this as a bit of a dislike, because I think some people might really like a responsive shoe, is because they market it as a softer, more cushioned shoe. And I kind of want to call them on that because I don't necessarily consider this to be a super softer cushioned shoe. The midsole is denser, that compressed rock guard contributes to that underfoot feel. It's not necessarily snappy, it's just a really tight bounce. Uh, so that in combination with the protection sort of takes that feeling away of it being a soft or cushioned shoe. So I just want to point that out because I think it kind of goes against maybe how they're marketing the shoe. Compared to other Las Portivas, it could be cushioned, but in the Helios realm or even the uh, Akasha, there's a bit more to work with in overall comfort. So this might not necessarily be a dislike for everybody, but for me, it was just tad too responsive, a little too much. Narrow, just a little bit. Now, I know I just commended them on having a roomier forefoot and toe box, and I do still commend them on that. But I think the platform itself, and we're talking from heel forward, is still on the narrow side to the point where it can cause instability issues in this shoe. I found myself, especially on descents, really having to get accustomed to the shoe and how little purchase you get in that heel because of the lack of width. It's, it's very narrow back there. The more I ran in it, the better it got, and the more that my feet and body got used to the platform underfoot. I just found the root of the issue to be right here through the midfoot and along the heel, where it just, it gets a little too narrow, where the platform itself just doesn't allow for a lot of flexibility in how you land on your foot. Sizing. So this is a problem that I've had with La Sportiva for a long time, and I think it's because they are designed for European markets, European feet. I have to size up in La Sportiva pretty much across the board. Here, I'm wearing a size 11 and a half. I normally wear a size 11, and I would almost say I could go up to a size 12. It's one of those things that you'll encounter if you try to get your normal size. I feel like you have to size up a minimum of a half size. But that, my friends, is it for my dislikes. So now let's get a little bit more specific in our breakdown where we talk about five different criteria build quality, comfort, fit, price, and looks. Uh, so build quality, that's where I think this shoe absolutely shines. La Sportiva is known for their quality of gear. They just design stuff for mountaineers, for athletes ready to go to their ultimate limits. And I think that translates quite well to the Caracal. Comfort, this is uh, sort of the shortcoming of the shoe. I don't think it's the most comfortable shoe. They are giving you a roomier toe box compared to other products in their line. I don't think the midsole is as cushioned as they would hope. If you like a more responsive ride, maybe that is something that would be comfortable for you. And I do think you get a pretty damn good fit across the midfoot if not a bit narrow through the heel and midfoot underneath. Fit, I was able to get a really good lockdown in the shoe. I think the lacing system just, you know, works traditionally. Uh, where the fit becomes an issue is just how well you're gonna get that balance out of the stability platform here. Price at $130, I think that's a pretty decent price point uh, for the Caracal. It could be $10 cheaper, but give or take, these shoes are gonna last you for a long time. So you're gonna get plenty of smiles for miles out of them. Um, so that alone sort of tweaks the edge on price being an A-OK -okay scenario. And looks, I actually don't mind the looks of these. Very solid, very monotone with the orange highlight there. It seems to be a big trend in shoes this season being either blue and orange or orange and blue. Uh, this is no exception. I think they're black version is pretty damn cool. But I also want to commend La Sportiva on their just overall like apparel design. They do a great job. I think some of their stuff is super unique and innovative. I wish that would translate a bit more uh, to their shoes design department. Bringing us to our conclusion. So if you're looking for lower profile, snappy, more responsive types of shoes, my mind kind of immediately goes towards Solomon. I think they're very well known for that market. The Solomon Sense Pro comes to mind. But I think La Sportiva has something here in the Caracal that is a really great entry point for those looking for a type of shoe that would last them for a long time. This could be more nimble on the trails, uh, very slipper-like, perfect for those days where your focus is on rock hopping and traversing technical terrain. And you need a shoe that provides you with plenty of protection and durability. The Caracal checks both those boxes. The more you run in them, the more they open up, the more you get accustomed to sort of how the shoe fits, how La Sportiva has designed their last and their midsole. The charm of the shoes begin to shine. Uh, while I don't necessarily think that the Caracal is going to be my next ultra shoe of choice, I think for those shorter distances, faster efforts or tempo-based trail runs, this is gonna be a super fun option for a lot of people, which ultimately brings me to my final criteria is the La Sportiva Caracal a buy, try, or a why. I'm gonna give it a solid try. If this is what you are looking for, everything that I've said in today's review is that like, that's what I want. 
then this is a shoe that you should certainly put on your foot. Just make sure you size up. And that, my friends, is it for my review. If you have tried the Caracal or any of the Las Sportivas shoes, I'm super curious what you think of them and what you think of this one in particular in the comments of this video. Let me know if it's something that might tickle your fancy. <laughs> for those of you with fancies, I hope it gets tickled at some point. And that is it for my review. If you liked it, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell if you are already subscribed. It's pretty much the only way you're gonna know every time I upload a new video or any time that we go live. Speaking of live, we go live every single day. If you would like to join the GR crew, it is how you can support this channel and join an amazing group of athletes from around the planet. Head on over to patreon.com slash the ginger runner. All tiers get access to some really cool perks. Uh, we're making music, we're making art, we have a book club, we have a trivia night. There's so much good stuff happening. We would love to have you join us. That's it, everyone. Thank you so much. We hope you're getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for more fun. Go register for Tiger Claw Virtual. We'd love to see you. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.